All right, guys, welcome. Uh, I just wanted to teach you guys how to input an order really quick. So this is the Kafka Orders app. Uh, this is the web version of it, but pretty much same thing, doing it on your mobile phones. So the only way you can get logged into the app is you have to have your Vector Connect fully set up and get past all those questions when you first uh, created your account on Vector Connect. So we're going to go ahead and log in. And on the Cutco Orders app, it's fairly simple to, to enter in orders. I just want to teach you guys a couple basic things. So when you get logged in, it's going to tell you how far you are to your next milestone or your next promotion. Um, and then it'll have all your career sales and things like that. It's going to tell you where you're at for the week, how much you're at you sold for the month, campaign, so on and so forth like that. But this app is strictly just for putting in orders. So you're going to go over here to where it says shop. All right, when you guys click on the shop, it's going to have all the products. This is basically our price list, just all um, laid out like this. So let's just say you have an item number. So let's say I typed in 1723. It pops up the, the nine inch carver. All right, so and you can see it comes in all the different colors. You can search for it with the item number, or you can just type in like shears, and it'll just pop up anything with like the shears. Uh, but we're looking for the super shares, so you can just type up anything right here to find it. However, it's pretty simple to do. Um, our most popular sets are all going to be right up here. So it's going to have all of the sets right up here as well. Uh, but you can just go to kitchen cutlery sets, for example. And let's say you sell a homemaker set. Go ahead and click on the actual homemaker, because then you can also change it up. And the picture is going to change with whatever your setup you pick for your customer. So you, if you want to... A customer wanted a longer chef knife, you can put it the French chef in there. They'll change it. Or you can leave it just as is. The color, let's say they wanted a, a red one. All right, we can also change how many table knives right here. All right, so we have the basic homemaker and we also have the homemaker plus eight. So what's displayed right here is the one with the table knives. If you wanted a basic homemaker, you just click the basic wood block right there. Um, and if you wanted it in the trays, you can just do that as well. All right. Now you can also change the color of the block. So the default color is going to be honey oak. However, you can change it to cherry. All right. So now it shows you a cherry homemaker and a and a uh, the the cherry block of red. All right. But we want to keep it the homemaker plus eight. Once it's how the customer likes it, just go ahead and add that to your cart. All right. And you'll see right over here it's going to show you that your cart what's in what's in there right now. All right. Now let's just say that we wanted to add in some more items. So let's just say the customers wanted the super shears for free. So let's go back out right there. We'll just go to accessories and you can find your super shears, cutting boards, things like that. Or if you wanted to search it, you can just search in the super shears and they'll pop up right there. All right, but we'll just click right here, click on the super shears, choose the red ones, go ahead and add it to your cart. Now, as you guys notice, it has the cart total right up here. Now, if you guys click on this blue line, it shows you your order health indicator. It'll break it down into payments. Now, we want to make sure that we're giving the super shares for free. So as you guys noticed, we did not give them for free yet. So you got to click these three circles right here, and you'll see bonus pop up. So if you wanted to add another pair of super shares, you can copy them into, into it as well. Let's say they wanted two. If you wanted to delete an item, you just click the three circles, click delete. But for right now, we just want a bonus. The super shares give those for free. All right, so now you'll see it, it takes off the price. Now, you always want to let your customers know the value that they're actually getting. So if we didn't change anything, they would be paying $16.57 for this set. So you want to let them know like the value of everything you're getting today, Mr. Jones, is $16.57. However, I didn't give you those super shares for free. Brings the price down to only $13.26 today. Now, you always want to check your, your order health indicator. All right, so you see the super shares? You're in the good order health. It's still in the green right there. Once it gets in the orange, you should definitely call your manager. And if it gets in the red, you just can't do it. Okay. So now let's continue. We're going to go ahead and check out. All right. Now when we check out, you just type in the customer's billing information first. So what I mean by billing information, this is the address that matches their credit card that they're going to be paying with. So you want to make sure you get that correct. It matches the card that they're paying with, or else it's going to show up as a problem for you. All right, and then shipping address, if it's different, um, you click no, or you click no, and then you would type in their shipping address. But if it's the same, then you're going to just go ahead and keep it as yes. All right, so just for time's sake, I'm just going to search for 
um, a customer. So first we want to type in like reorder a new customer. I'm just going to search for a customer. Actually, sorry, you want to click advanced search when you do that. So we'll search Jeff and let's see who pops up. All right, so we'll use, we'll use my dad, all right? So this is Jeff, right? You want to make sure you get your customer's email. So this way you can send them a receipt. Um, and then we'll go ahead and click to the next step. All right, now this one, you want to make sure you pay super close attention because like I said, it's super easy, but it's very easy to make a mistake. So their payment method, whatever is lit up in blue, these are going to be their options. So if, it, if they're going to be paying with credit or debit, you click that option, pay for check or money order or ACH, you click that option and you see it goes blue. All right. Now, taxable. Um, most people are taxable. If they're tax exempt, they will definitely let you know. All right. They should have a special ID card for that. All right. Number of payments. All right. You want to make sure that you don't just go through this and click next because it's always going to put full payment. And that's something that we, that we don't definitely want not, not to do to a customer. So we can choose two payments, three payments, four or five payments. Definitely most people are going to choose the five payments. And this includes the admin. Now, just as a reminder, in your manual, your price on the five pay is going to be different because the price in your manual is including the tax. This price right here does not include tax yet. All right, so when we click next, now this is just where you guys get a chance to double check your work. You can definitely share this with your customer so this way they can make sure the address and all that great stuff is, is correct. Um, if you want to include any special instructions, so let's, this is special instructions for the factory. Let's say you wanted to add something in or things like that, you can click right there. But we're just going to keep it very simple right now. This is their total, right? Shipping costs, there's no, uh, it's basically included with the price. Admin fees, full dollar admin fee, how much they're actually saving on the order. Gives them their total price, all right? Now, if we ever needed to adjust the total, um, you could. Let's say you, you quoted the customer a different price, you can do that right here, all right? Now, payment details, this is where you're going to put in their credit card info right there, expiration date, all that great stuff. And then if your customer is not present, this means like if you're doing a virtual demo or something like that, you're going to click customer not present. So this way they don't need to sign. All right. Now that you're doing this in person, they'll just sign right there on your smartphone or your tablet. And then you want to make sure you email yourself a receipt. So that way you just have it just in case the customer asks for it. And then you would place the order. Now when you place the order, their order number is going to pop up and it'll, it'll say something like send the customer an order. Um, or send the customer a receipt, it's gonna have their order number. Make sure you guys send your customers a receipt so that way they always have it for the records. All right, so that's a quick way of how you guys can put in an 